Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to take a little twist on the paper flower. Now paper flowers are fantastic decorations. They're also great for just, you know, popping up a room with color. Um, you can see here I've got some that are made out of cellophane. I've got some that are made out of tissue paper, which is the normal way you see a paper flower. I've also got some here that are made out of mylar. And what we're going to be doing today, paper napkins. Now let me explain how this whole idea came about. We just did a party the other day and for some unknown reason we ended up purchasing like a scad of napkins. I have no idea why we ended up buying as many as we did, but we did. And when we were all done, we had all these beautiful colored napkins left over and I was like, well, this is just such a waste because there weren't enough that we could use them for another event. And you know, I mean, we just had all these paper napkins. I was like, well, what can we do with these napkins? And aha, we can make paper flowers. So if you end up with a whole bunch of napkins left over or say you don't have anything like tissue paper or cellophane or mylar, you can still make a flower. All you need, napkins and a few pipe cleaners and some scissors, always need scissors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper napkin, don't you love that one? And I'm gonna open it up and just place it flat down on my table. Now I like to use five napkins or five sheets of tissue paper, whatever it is that you're using, mylar, whatever. So I've got five open here, so I'm gonna go one, Two, you just lay them right on top of each other. Three, four, and five. Now, the great thing about paper napkins is they've already got this little beveled edge, so I'm gonna use that as my guide as I go along and fold my flower. So we're gonna fan fold. Fan folding is when we take our edge and fold it up, and again, see, see where that ridge is? I'm gonna follow right where that ridge is. I'm just gonna fold it up. That's fold number one, and you wanna flatten it out. Then you just wanna pick it up and turn it over. And then again, I'm gonna fold it up, smooth it down, pick it up, flip it over. Fan fold, pick it up, flip it over. Fan fold, pick it up, Flip it over. I hope you're getting the idea here. Fan fold, pick it up, flip it over. Fan fold, pick it up, flip it over. And there you go. You're at the end. When you're done, you end up with something that looks like a little bow tie. This is a reversible one. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I want to give this a bit more of a flower feel. So I'm actually going to cut the ends here because these are a little square for my taste. Now, if you want to, put your fingers on two sides here, two sides here. That's going to keep it nice and tight. I'm just gonna take my scissors, and again, don't get, you know, you never need to be uptight about anything when you're doing crafts like this. I mean, you don't have to make sure this is perfect. You're just gonna cut a little rounded edge there, and see how I've got a little slippage here? Don't worry about that. That makes no difference in the whole wide world. When you start poofing it out, it's all gonna disappear anyway. So now I'm gonna come over here on the other side, and I'm gonna cut it around just like that. And I'm gonna put these off to the side because I'll use those for something else, maybe a little decoupage later on. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half just like this to figure out where the center point is. And there's the center point, you can see where my finger is. And now I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner, otherwise known as chenille stem, and I'm gonna put it in the center here and I'm gonna make it nice and tight. Now, here's what you need to know. Wherever you put the bend, of your pipe cleaner, that would be the bend of your pipe cleaner, is going to be the center of your flower. So if you decide that you want the jungle print on the inside, then you would put your pipe cleaner like that. If you decide that you want the blue to be on the inside, then you're going to put the chenille stem there. Does that make sense? Okay, so I actually want to have my jungle print on the outside, so I'm gonna do that just like that. And I'm gonna open her up just like this. Oh, I should have told you. What I'm doing is I'm taking my chenille stem and I'm just twisting this really nice and tight, just like that. And that seals everything in. Now, I'm gonna open her up. And this is where I'm gonna just gently start poofing. Now the nice thing about paper napkins, I'm just pulling these to the center. 
nice thing about paper napkins is that they have a little bit more strength than like tissue paper. So they're not going to rip as easily as tissue paper. OK, so I've got one side poofed and floofed. Now I'm going to poof and floof my other side. Just pulling from the center here, just pulling them up. See, you're just pulling them in. You really cannot mess this up. You can't, you can't make this wrong. I mean, and anything with color always looks fantastic. I'm going to pull the next one up. Sometimes they like to stick. Be patient. Find the edge. Pull them up. There you go. Just like that. And you're all done. You've got yourself a nice paper flower, just like that, made out of recycled napkins. Can you believe that? Now, you'll notice that I have this nice chenille stem, and this I can use to attach, oh, let me move these for you, right here to the side of my basket. I just wrap it around, give it a little twist, and look at that. I end up with a beautiful decoration. What's great is you could use these if you were decorating a table. You could make an entire, you know, centerpiece out of these if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to, you could use them on the edges of your table just to kind of puff up the edges, puff up the ends, you know what I mean? Um, you can use them anywhere. They're fantastic. They also, you know, they make great toppers for birthday gifts. Instead of putting a bow, a bought bow, you can use one of these tissue paper flowers. You know, it's up to your imagination what you're going to create. And to tell you the truth, I can't wait to see what you're going to create. For more ideas with recycled materials, check us out at sophie-world.com.